Hello, I am Naresh. In this video, I will show you how to create queues in JSM project. So this is an example for JSM project. You already knew this project in my previous video. I created this project and I created uh, requests, portal groups, etc. So let me show you the portal also. So this is the portal for that project. So the customers who needs to change the Jira configuration. So they'll create a request here. Suppose if they want a new project. So in software, they choose this portal group and by using this form, they create a request to the Jira administrator. Okay, suppose if they want a new custom field in JSM project. So they choose this request form and they fill this fields and after that they will click on send button. So therefore, uh, people or customers raise requests by using this portal and those requests will come into the all open queue. Okay, so whatever the request raised by the customer, so those requests will come and sit here in the in this queue. So this is like all open. So usually uh, here the list will be very long. So it is very tough for an agent uh, to look at a particular uh, issue which has some special criteria. Suppose for example, in my case, so I am a Jira administrator. So people created these requests. Okay, some uh, someone asked to add, add a category field. Someone wants me to create a project. Someone wants me to create a project in service management. So like that, there are several requests for me. Suppose, for example, if I want to uh, choose or if I want to pick quickly uh, a, an issue related to custom field. So it is very tough job for me. I need to read each and every summary of the issue. So to avoid this problem, uh, there is an option for us. So that is called queues. Okay. So by using queues, you can separate uh, issues based on uh, category, based on some field values, etc. So in this video, I will show you an example uh, related to this project only. So let me quickly go to Atlas request again. So here you can see that Jira software has two request types. One is new Jira project and one is new custom field. And Jira service management is also having uh, two request type. One is new Jira project and one is new custom field. So uh, my idea is uh, I will create two queues, two number of queues. So one is for new Jira projects, another one is for new custom fields. Okay. So I don't bother about which tool it is because anyway, I am the Jira administrator. So I can work on Jira software or service management. No problem for me. Therefore, so I will create two queues. One is for new Jira project and one is for new custom fields. So that is my uh, idea. So to create uh, queues, I need to go to manage queues. Uh, click on create new queue. So just give the name of the queue here. And thereafter, you can filter the issues by using this uh, uh, fields actually. So first of all, let me write that new Jira project. OK. So new Jira project thereafter you can choose uh, these fields uh, if you want. So actually for this case, I will choose uh, JQL. Therefore, I have switched to JQL. So let me delete uh, this. So here actually the filter query is you can see that this query is already filtered by project equal to Atlassian request. So therefore, you need not to give the project equal to even if you type for project, uh, you cannot find that in the search results. See here. There is no project. Why? Because it is already filtered by the project. Therefore, you cannot see the project. So you can, if you want, you can give. Actually, this is unnecessary, extra work, right? So let me remove this because it is already filtered by Atlassian request. There is no point in giving project equal to Atlassian request. There is no point. So thereafter, I need to uh, 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 give the filter. Therefore, it can search uh, uh, the requests related to new project only. Okay, so let me uh, show you a system field uh, which can uh, give uh, the idea or which can uh, tell. So the issue is related to new project or new custom field. I'll show you. Uh, let me create a new uh, request here. Let me 
let me quickly this is a quick process that was reported as me right test just click on test okay now i have raised a request to the jira administrator so here you can see that the system field request type so request type is the system field which tells you uh, which category is this okay currently so now this uh, request is uh, uh, this request belongs to new jira project request type so i'll use this uh, system field to filter the issues related to new jira project now let me write that request type okay here so instead of equal to i'll give in because i need to enter the multiple values uh, why because my dear friends you can see that so jira software has new jira project request type and at the same time jira service management is also having uh, uh, new jira project but uh, these two request uh, request types are usually uh, uh, here in, in this example these are the same but usually in our nation we are having like a different uh, uh, request type but they give uh, they are belongs to the same purpose therefore uh, let me write let me choose you can directly choose new jira project and comma again choose new jira project close it so this request type is for software this request type is for service management so that's it so now see here now uh, this uh, query has filtered the issues for me you just click on create that's it so these issues are related to new jira project so uh, as a jira administrator if i come tomorrow or day after tomorrow i can quickly go to the queues and quickly jump into a new jira project to search the issues related to uh, new jira project okay there is no unnecessary task for me okay there is no need to go to all open and quickly uh, and uh, you know uh, finding uh, all, reading all summaries and selecting one issue okay so no need to do that extra work okay if you have a uh, this queue and now let me create uh, one more queue uh, queues go to queues manage queues create new queue okay so uh, just delete this again now request type uh, uh, sorry request type in and let me choose new custom field comma new custom field click on sorry i forgot to give the name let me write new custom field click on create so now uh, this is the queue which gives the results of all issues related to new custom field so there is no point uh, in going to all open and searching for issues related to custom field you, you can quickly jump into this queue and select your issue and just work on it that's it okay so uh, here two <coughs> two queues are available for us you can start it uh, to move this to the top position again i am storing this therefore uh, uh, it is start and it move to top position if you unstart this it will become to a uh, team priority unless suppose for example if you want these uh, custom fields in the team priority so simply go to manage queues and here see here you can just drag this new jira project from other two team priority okay just close it so why here actually these are star that's why it uh, now these two queues are available above the team priority if you unstar this it will go to the team priority if you unstar this it will go to the team priority okay. so yep that's it so this is all about uh, uh, queues uh, for this video so in coming video we'll go deeply uh, about this uh, uh, managing queues and all okay thank you